prominent film, A Beautiful Mind, was directed by Ron Howard in 2002. This trailer will give a glimpse of the conflict between the internal and external self. The undying love between John and his wife, Alicia, will be explored in the short trailer of this true story. A Beautiful Mind is about a mathematician and Princeton graduate named John Nash and depicts how his and his wife's lives change with his diagnosis of schizophrenia. This film exemplifies internal conflict, self versus self, and external conflict, self versus self. Edward's journal reads, nothing could be more different from me than myself. Edward's journal also reads, the thing I have the greatest difficulty believing in is my own reality. John's mental illness causes him to have internal conflict with his own mind. Throughout the entire movie, he's fighting his mind, trying to differentiate reality and what he's facing him. Much of the internal conflict John faces involves one of his hallucinations, William Parcher. John tells Alicia that he is working as a spy with William Parcher and the government to stop the Russians. Alicia responds, telling John there is no William Parcher. With this, John is left confused, angry, and conflicted between knowing what's real and who to trust. John is conflicted when William Parcher makes another appearance and tells John he is real and that everyone is lying to him about his diagnosis of schizophrenia. John believes him and says, I was so scared you weren't real. John hallucinated William Parcher nearly shooting Alicia and the baby. He ran and tried to protect them, leaving Alicia very worried because she didn't see William Parcher, but was worried as to why John pushed her and the baby. John was very confused because William Parcher was telling John that Alicia is very bad and is lying to her, while Alicia was telling John that William Parcher is not real. Another one of John's most common hallucinations was Charles, a roommate John thought he had. John hallucinated that Charles was with him, watching the baby in the bath, but in reality, Charles was not there, and Alicia found the baby in the bath, who nearly drowned. It's made evident that John is facing internal conflict when he reveals that he knows he has something wrong with him as Alicia brings his work friend Sol over and John makes a joke out of his illness. Soon later, however, Alicia gives John his medicine and once she leaves, he hides it away with other medicine he has chosen not to take. With John's wife, Alicia Nash, the concept of self versus other is depicted. Alicia doesn't know exactly what John is seeing or feeling. All John wants is to be what Alicia wants of him, but this is very hard for him to do when he has lost touch with reality. Alicia was very shocked about his diagnosis, especially when finding out by Dr. Rosen, John's psychiatrist, that Charles, the roommate John always talked about, was not real, but was a hallucination of John's. Alicia goes to John's office, and this confirms to her that what everyone was saying of John acting overly strange is true. Alicia grows to be constantly stressed, trying to take care of her young child while having a husband with mental illness. She typically seems very calm about the difficulties that come with having John as a husband, but she comes to a point where she felt she could no longer contain her anger. Through all the difficulties, however, Alicia stays loyal to John with so much love for him. Edward's journal reads, or rather, the influence of love by a curious action of give and take made us both reciprocally alter our natures, involuntarily, unconsciously. Each one of a pair of lovers fashions himself to meet the other's requirements, endeavors by a continual effort to resemble that idol of himself which he beholds in the other's heart. Alicia says that she's still in love with her husband and states that when she thinks about the man she married, she still sees him in his current stage of life. During his Nobel Peace Prize speech, John returns Alicia's love for him, saying, You are all my reasons. At the end of the movie, John learns to live with schizophrenia and is in a way healed of it as he makes jokes to others about his illness. For example, he asks a student in a jokingly way if the student's face is real or not. In the last scene of the movie, John sees Charles and William Parcher after giving his Nobel Peace Prize speech, and he ignores them, knowing they are not real.